Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm Alice Gray from Orange County Public Library. And we're here at the Washington Park Library in Orlando, Florida, trying to capture memories from our community. Yes. Could you please tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Carla Mortimer. I am originally from Miami, Florida, and I am a resident of Orlando, Florida now, five years in. Okay. Can you tell us something about your trials and tribulations in Orlando, or why you chose Orlando, uh, the Washington Park area, the whole Washington Shores area, how you fit into this to our community? Well, I, I came to Orlando because my mom is here, and some of my siblings are here, and I like the area. When I came, I, I liked the area. I saw a need in the area. Um, I was a worker for a hospice where I traveled to a lot of the homes to provide care uh, for the people that are in the communities that were ill. And now God has me on another mission. And the mission is to provide um, service for the people that are in the community, which is a great need uh, for a lot of the people that are sick, a lot of people that are not able to get back and forth to their medical appointments. God has allowed me to use uh, transportation service, uh, which is transporting for Jesus for his people that are in need of transportation to and from medical appointments. This is a great need in the community, and it's a charitable transportation service. And this is what the people in the community community that was telling me that was needed, that a lot of the people that are not able to get back and forth, they need a reliable transportation service. And here it is, Transporting for Jesus is here for the community, providing the service for the people um, that is truly needed in the community. Transportation, as we well know, is big. It's huge and it's needed amongst the communities and the surrounding communities. Um, people are just in need of transportation. And I'm here to let them know that transporting for Jesus is available. There is no fees in charge. It's all about charity. And I'm here to uh, supply them with their demands to get back and forth to medical appointments. Thank you. That You're is wonderful, wonderful service that you provide. Yes, ma'am. And it's not only for senior citizens, it's for anyone that's is bad. So that any, anybody is that are anybody that's in need, because we have a lot of people, young people that are in the communities that are in need, that are not able to walk to the bus stop because of some medical uh, problem or disease. We even carry people that are HIV AIDS, um, that's weak, that's not able to catch a bus, or where the family members have just given up on them or got burnt out, and they call transporting for Jesus. And we come to help out wherever we're needed. This is a wonderful service. And we appreciate it so much. What would you think, what are the most important lessons in life that you've learned, you think? Well, the most important lesson um, that I've learned is how to live and how to treat people. Those are the most important things that I've learned dealing with people, is that God wants us to love. And through love comes charity and compassion. Those are the main things that I've learned, how to be compassionate to other people's needs. Because everybody don't have the same type of life. Everybody doesn't have the same type of needs. So we have to be compassionate to one another. And that's my greatest aspect that I receive as to being what is who I am. And that's what I've learned, is to be compassionate to one another. That is wonderful. And how would you like to be remembered? I would like to be remembered as a helper, as a servant to God's people. That's how I like to be remembered, helping people. Mm, that is wonderful. Can you record the happiest moment of your life? <laughs> it's easy. When I got saved, when I became saved, when I decided to say, okay, Lord, have your way. And that was the transformation 
for me. And it brought about joy and happiness in my life. That is wonderful. Who would you say is the most important person in your life? We're talking spiritual or we're talking carnal. I would say my mother. All right, all right. <laughs> Can you tell me about your mother? A little something about your mother. Well, my mother is a wonderful woman. Uh, she is also a servant of God. Um, she is 72 years old. She has more energy than I have. She's still going, working on a 40-hour job. And she's just now trying to start a business up that's called Just Cakes. She is a wonderful baker. She bakes all kind of desserts from scratch. Who has, and I would assume, who's been the biggest influence on your life? Would you say that's been your mom, too? It's been my mom and my dad. My, my dad lives in Miami. And he, I spent most of my life with my dad. Um, so he influenced and impacted my life, and my mom did also. They both play their roles. Because we know the mother has a role and the father has a role. And they both came together, and they both produced me. <laughs> and awesome. this is what you get. Thank you. You're welcome. For those lessons you learned through both. Through both of them. That's through both beautiful. of them. And it's a pleasure to have both mother and father. Yes, it's it very important uh, for our upbringing. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. We appreciate you stopping by, sharing all this wisdom and knowledge with us. You're welcome. We appreciate your time and energy that you spent with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're today. welcome.